And there goes Kai Lenny here at the Payette River Games. My name's Dan Gavir, reporting for Distressed Mullet Chum Nuggets. Next up, Spencer. I got my money on this guy right here. He's been killing it in Colorado. Spencer Lacey, his dad's a famous slalom paddler, downriver paddler, designs whitewater courses. And here goes Spencer Lacey on the M&M. Let's go, Spencer! This is the sprint portion of the Payette River Games day number one qualifier. 40 of our 60 men's athletes will advance to the next round. And this afternoon, we'll also be doing sup cross. In the event of a, of a tie in the end, the tiebreaker will come down to the time here at the sprint. So it's very important to have a good effort here and put in a big, hard pull and a great sprint. We see a lot of different boards being used. 12-6 is the limit. So everyone's riding 12-6s, it looks like. We've got inflatables, we've got race boards. Here in the gate right now, one of our uh, pro kayakers from Wave Sport, Brian Kirk, getting off and going on a stride ride next up. Cody Kerbox coming from Hawaii riding the Nash. Look for this guy to have a blazing fast time. Only if he can complete the gates at the bottom of the course. Gate three and four is so critical. And this will be one of the hardest boards to get that done on. And look at Cody go. He's got about a mile and a half sprint. That's going to take approximately 12 to 15 minutes. Here we've got Team Jackson, Eric Jackson, the multi-world kayak champion. Also 2013 GoPro Cross champion. Off and going, Eric Jackson, 50 years old, followed by his son, Dane Jackson. What are you thinking, Dane? He's gonna go catch his dad. Dane's fired up. Dane, known as one of the best kayakers in the world now, coming out here for the Payette River Games. Stand on his pal, Hana. And Luke Hopkins in the gate right here. How you feeling, Luke? Talent for body glove and of course stride ride. He's got his GoPro on the front. He's stoked. This is another guy to look out for with a ton of river experience, especially with a single blade. Luke Hopkins coming out of Blacksburg, Virginia. He's off and running. His sprint has just started. All right, back up to the top for the women's class here at the Payette River Games Sprint Sup Cross. Looks like Luis Irwin and Emily Jackson getting ready here with their Pauhana paddle boards. This is a kayak contingent. What do you think, Luis? You got um, second at GoPro. What do you think you can do here? Give it a go. Yeah, give it a go. Woo! Courtney's on the scene. Oh, yeah. The dirty little Kiwi is on it. I don't know. I think that's one of the Emily. She's chasing me. <laughs> Down in here with all the ladies getting ready. I, I see a lot of butterflies flying around. Dance it off. <laughs> Jamie, Giddens, Nikki, Greg. What's your name? Hannah Hill. Hannah Hill. And Haley. How are you feeling, Haley? Good. You ready to rock it? Yes. Awesome. Say hi to everyone. Distress mullet. Hey, hey, ready to go here. And they're lining up here in the start gate. The start sequence is one foot on the board, one foot on the ground, in the sand. Everyone getting a start here every 20 seconds. So there has been some passing even before the rapid and then having to make those critical maneuvers in the main feature at gates three and four proving to be difficult. If you miss a gate, you are assessed a one minute penalty is added to your time. If you miss both gates, obviously that's two minutes. That's gonna cost you big time. Some people are opting to miss some of the gates, but anyone who has practiced them is going for them. Dan Gabir reporting for Distress Mullet with your daily chum nuggets from the Payette River Games. Day number one, we are doing our qualifications for the sprint race, getting ready to go. We'll have your results here. We'll see.